Leave Motion is the company's second generation motion sensor that only works until recently with HomeKit over Thread. However, Eve has recently opened up its early access beta program so that the motion sensor can work with Matter and in turn with other smart home ecosystems. Although the Eve Motion is Matter compatible, for this review, I will focus on it working with HomeKit and the Eve app. I will be touching on updating the Eve sensor to Matter and my experience of doing so. Also, just to be fully transparent, he provided this as a review sample. This means he provided this device for free so I could review it. Eve, however, has set no conditions for this review, and as always, I'll be honest about my findings. Eve will see the review at the same time as you. You can buy the Eve Motion from Amazon for $39.99, and in most cases, you'll get next day delivery. There's links in the description below that help this channel out at no extra cost to you. So starting with design and features, the biggest changes beyond the addition of thread is it smaller and it includes an additional sensor so now it can measure light levels. The motion sensor has a field of view of 120 degrees and can work up to distances of 30 feet. It also features a LED that will flash when motion is detected but you can turn this off if you desire within the Eve app. Two AA batteries provide power and according to Eve, the motion sensor will last for one year before you need to replace them. The Eve motion sensor features a IPX3 rating, so it's good for a bathroom or a covered porch or somewhere outside where it's not necessarily exposed to heavy rain, but it will be okay to get wet. And it has operating temperatures between minus 18 degrees to 55 degrees. On the back of the Eve motion, you'll find a wall mount and a HomeKit setup code. Taking off the battery compartment, you will also find the device reset button. One of the things I like about Eve devices is the privacy focus and the Eve Motion is no different. All the automations and data collected from the Eve Motion is kept locally and private. No cloud uploads or remote processing needed. While the Eve Motion still feels premium, it does not share the same look and feel as other of Eve's new devices such as the Eve Room and the Eve Weather. These all feature an aluminium body with a cleaner design. Now let's move on to setup. The device is fairly easy to set up and just involves installing the supplied batteries into the Eve Motion and waiting for the LED on the front to flash. Then to add to HomeKit, you either use the Eve app or the Apple Home app. In my case, I used the Apple app and followed the setup process. And if you're familiar with HomeKit devices, then you start by tapping the plus sign and then add accessories. Scan the HomeKit setup code. After a few moments, you'll be given the option of choosing which room the device will be placed in. In my case, I placed it in my downstairs toilet, then giving both sensors names and toggling any of the suggested automations it might present to you. The last step is placing the Eve Motion in the desired location. I place this in my toilet to trigger the lights to turn on when someone entered. Before we continue with this video, I just want to pause here and introduce you to HomeKit Authority. If you are watching a video for the first time of ours, this is an online community dedicated to everything HomeKit and Smart Home. We cover the latest news about Apple's Smart Home platform, honest and detailed reviews, and tutorials that help you get the most out of HomeKit. While you're here, don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on this channel. And if you'd like to stick around and be part of this community, then we'd love to have you. So hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified when new content lands. You can also follow us on other social platforms, including Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for more content at Follow Home Kids. Thank you for all your support. Let's get back into this video. Now let's move on to what it's like to use it within Home Kids. Within the Home app, the Eve Motion is shown as a motion and light sensor along the top bar within in the room view. The view will show you if the motion is detected or not and also the light levels within that area. If you tap on either of these icons, you're taken to the settings for the Eve Motion, which are pretty limited given the device. You have the option to rename the device, see the current status, and also the battery levels. Finally, you can change the room the Eve Motion is assigned and view any automations for the device, plus create more. You can decide whether you get alerts for when the motion is detected. Now you do this by selecting whether you want them during the day, only at night, or a specific times. You can also choose only to get notifications when someone is home or when you're home. And this is pretty useful if you want to use this a device for, say, triggering a door to see if it opens. While the motion sensor can be used to alert you to motion detected, 
It's automations within HomeKit that users will get the most benefit from. I set up an automation in my toilet. The automation was created to turn on the light when motion is detected and stay on for three minutes. You can also create others like open your smart blinds when motion in the living room is detected or turn on an air purifier when you enter the room. You also can use a light sensor to open, say, the smart blinds when the light levels get too low or close them when the light levels are too high. During the last six months or so, leading up to the review, Steve Motion has just worked without any issues when I've set it up within the OMAP. Now let's look, take a look at the Eve app. Apple makes available data points within the HomeKit framework and Eve takes advantage of this additional data. The Eve app can show you the history of both the looks light sensor and the motion sensor. If the motion sensor is in your home and you've gone out all day, for instance, you can quickly see via a graph when something or someone trip that motion sensor. You also can see the light levels at various different points throughout the day. And this is all displayed within the app. So you can actually download this data and use it if you choose to do so. And you can see various different data points by going deeper within the app. You can also adjust the sensitivity level of the motion sensor between high, medium, or low. Finally, you have the option to turn the LED that flashes on the front on or off. You can also check out the thread network within the Eve app and see how devices are connected and routed throughout this. But to take advantage of the full routing information, you do need the Eve Energy with thread. So moving on to talk about thread and what it means for the Eve Motion. The previous generation Eve Motion used Bluetooth for its connection method. So because of this, some users would sometimes complain of slow response times or sometimes simply random disconnections. And if you were outside your home and you didn't have a home hub, then you would not get access to this device. However, as I've already mentioned, the latest generation Eve Motion features thread with a fallback to Bluetooth connectivity if it's not available. Within a thread network, devices have several roles and the Eve Motion is a sleepy end device. In simple terms, this is a device that remains inactive in the network until it's activated. So this means the device still takes the advantage of thread, reach and response times, but battery life performance should be improved because it's not always pinging the main router. But it's important to note to take advantage of a thread connectivity you need a thread border router such as the Apple TV 4K or the HomePod Mini. If you've not got any of these, it will simply use Bluetooth as the previous generation did. While I placed the Eve Motion in my downstairs toilet for its primary use, I did place the device in various places in my home, including the garage and at the far end of the garden where other devices, including Wi-Fi, would struggle. During my testing for this review, the Eve Motion has been rapid to respond when I've been using it with the Nanoleaf Essential Smart Light Bulb in the toilet. I additionally wanted to see how fast Apple Home would identify the motion, so I enabled notification within the app. Within a second after tripping the motion sensor, an alert appeared on my iPhone. So for me, Thread continues to live up to its promise and for a motion sensor, quick response times are key for it being useful for this type of device in your home. You can learn more about Thread and what it means for HomeKit. There's a video coming above now. Now let's briefly talk about Eve, Motion and Matter. Eve has recently launched the Eve Matter Early Access Program, which is essentially a beta program for select devices, including the Eve Motion. Then on the 28th of March of this year, Eve plans to launch its first out-of-the-box Matter devices. This means they'll be Matter ready when they come in the box. In the main, in my view, if you're all in on HomeKit, then I do not see any benefit upgrading the Eve Motion to support Matter. But if you are running a multi-smart home ecosystem, then using Eve Motion with the Matter update is going to enable that and allow you to use it with things like Amazon Alexa and Google Home. Upgrading the Eve Motion to Matter requires you to sign up to the Eve program. Then once you have access, you'll then be able to download the firmware onto the Eve Motion. I've done this for the device and it went smoothly. However, because it's still beta, you should not do this if you're not prepared for a few bumps. I've had to reset the device a number of times in the last month or so in order to get it back on the network. Now, Eve, I've said and been clear about that it is a beta program and when they fully launch, then all these issues will be ironed out. But with any beta, I would personally stay away from it unless you really want to live on the cutting edge.
So I would wait for the final release. Eve do plan to ship the final public firmware around the end of March, along with the out of the box ready Eve Motion and the other devices that they will be shipping. So my review summary. Overall, I'm impressed with the Emotion and the reliability and speed makes that smart home experience a lot better when using this type of device. In my testing for this review, the Eve Motion was fast and reliable for triggering automations. And this is all enabled because of thread support made a big difference compared to using Bluetooth. Plus, all these automations and data is locally stored and processed, so there's no cloud uploading and everything is private. This is a real advantage to EVE products. Some might think the design being all plastic compared to other EVE hardware might not be the best choice. Plus, the use of replaceable batteries instead of fixed rechargeable might be inconvenient. However, both the design decisions have been about keeping the cost down and this is one of the criticisms on the previous device in terms of battery life eve promises one year and i've had this in my home since mid-july so over the last six months of testing for this review the eve motion has been sitting at impressive 83%. Along with this, now that Eve has started to deliver on the matter promise it made in late 2022, users outside of HomeKit can take advantage of Eve devices. However, as I've stated before, if you're only in HomeKit and you use nothing else, then upgrading to matter offers no real benefit to you as a user. You can buy the Eve Motion from Amazon for $39.99, and in most cases, you'll get next day delivery and get this device set up in less than 10 minutes. There's links in the description below that help this channel out at no extra cost to you. So that's a wrap on the Eve Motion review. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, don't forget, it'd be greatly appreciated to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're liking what you see, then it'd also be greatly appreciated if you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button. You can also check out our other social media channels on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Follow HomeKit. Thank you very much. I'll speak to you soon.